Now, whether you have luscious locks, a high top fade, cornrows, mullet, or whatever this is, hair can define your style and identity. That's the whole point. Unfortunately for us, we're not all born follically gifted like Rapunzel or Marge Simpson. More than 80% of all men will experience some form of significant hair loss in their lifetime. Luckily, that means no more bad hair days. But what causes hair loss? And how could you prevent it? This is your body on the top five signs you'll be bald. Humans are born with roughly five million hair follicles across their entire bodies. Approximately 100,000 of these are on the scalp. There are many things that can make you go bald. You could inherit that shiny dome genetically. Gee, thanks a lot, Grandpa. What are we supposed to do? Or maybe the medication you're on is what's clogging up the drain. Stress can also be a factor. Just worrying about going bald could lead to hair loss. Male pattern baldness begins when hair follicles become oversensitive to the hormone DHT. As a person ages, this binding hormone will start to prevent the production of new hair cells. You need to get waxed. This affects 50% of all men by the age of 50. That's 50 million men in the United States alone. But you know what they say, hair today, gone tomorrow. So what are the early signs of balding? Number five, visible scalp. A visible scalp is not always a cause for concern. It's normal when hair is wet or cut short. However, if you can start to see your scalp when your hair is dry, it could be a sign of thinning. 31% of men between 40 and 55 experience balding at the crown. If this applies to you, I predict more sunscreen in your future. Yeah, a lot of sunscreen, right? <laughs> exactly. I know. <laughs> Number four, slow growth. On average, human hair grows 15 centimeters each year. Pattern baldness won't necessarily slow down hair growth. Instead, it decreases the total number of hairs on your head, making it look thinner. This gives the illusion of slower growth because more time is needed for it to grow back looking normal. But don't get discouraged. This could save you a bundle on haircuts. Number three, bald spots. Okay, this is the most direct sign of male pattern balding and the leading cause of comb overs. Certain conditions such as alopecia areata can cause your hair to fall out in a circle or oval-shaped pattern. I'm losing my hair. Severe cases may lead to hair loss wrapping all the way around your head. This can even inhibit facial hair growth, leaving you with bald patches in your beard. But hey, look on the bright side. It's one less spot to shave, right? Uh -huh. Number two, receding hairline. If you're continuously losing hair, your hairline will start to shift. My hairline probably used to be like here. This typically begins near the temples. When this area sheds faster than the middle strip, an M shape will develop on your forehead. You could also start noticing that your hair is uneven throughout. Hair on the top and back of your head will likely start to fall out, usually leading to bald spots. Approximately 25% of men aged 40 to 55 will experience a receding hairline. But since it's wow. no fun to acknowledge, this is what I'm dealing with, guys. Men will often ignore it until it's too late. And number one, hair falling out. Okay, if you've ever been mistaken for Mr. Clean, 
this has likely already happened. I mean, I guess I kind of look like Mr. Clean. Losing your hair might be the most obvious indicator that you're going bald, but it's also the easiest to miss. Because it's common to shed about 100 strands of hair per day, excessive hair loss can be overlooked. So don't fret if you shed as much as your dog does, but it's important to keep track of the hairs that grow back. It's estimated that men need to lose approximately 50% of their hair before they notice they're losing it at all. So keep an eye on your hairbrush, comb, and drain pipe. And if you're finding unusually large tumbleweeds of hair around the house, it could be time to contact your dermatologist. So you're saying I should worry? On the plus side, if you're bald, you'll never be blamed for a hair found in food. Not mine! But could you still be blamed for lice? Well, we'll scratch that itch on another episode of Your Body On.